Hi, it's Stu from Hive Mind Automation. This video is going to be a little different from my usual content. I'm not reviewing a smart home gadget and I don't have a new automation tutorial for you. Instead, I want to take a moment to give you all an update on what's been happening with Hive Mind Automation and to share a bit about where things are headed. Let me start by saying thank you to everyone who has stuck with the channel and especially over the last few months. If you've been following for a while, you've probably noticed by now that I haven't been posting videos quite as regularly as I used to. I've been feeling a bit overwhelmed lately and struggling to keep up with the workload and production schedule that I'd set for myself. I want to sincerely apologize for the inconsistency in video releases recently. I know that some of you have noticed, and it means a lot to me that you've been patient with me. I do feel like I've been letting you and myself down. The reality is that there's a lot of work that goes into creating these videos behind the scenes. It's not just hitting record and uploading. There's idea generation, researching and testing, writing scripts, filming, editing, color grading, creating thumbnails, and then of course, uploading and optimizing everything for YouTube. If something goes wrong during any of those parts, like audio issues or technical problems, it sets everything back and it's very frustrating. On top of that, my day job has been especially demanding lately and add to that my ADHD, which then makes it hard to stay motivated. It has been a bit of a challenge to keep things moving at a pace that I'm comfortable with and happy. I've always prided myself on delivering valuable content consistently, but lately it's been tough to even find the energy and time to get everything done. I want to be clear. I didn't start Hive Mind Automation under any illusion of making a fortune from YouTube. It's never been about money. From day one, my goal has always been to share what I've learned, help others navigate the world of home automation, and in some cases even learn from you all in return. That said, producing these videos comes at a cost. Between equipment, purchasing products for review, and maintaining the website, it adds up. I've got ads on the channel, affiliate links, and a buy me a coffee page, but those things barely cover a small fraction of the expenses. The reality is that I've been funding most of it out of my own pocket, which is fine. I love what I do. But lately, with the time commitment involved in making these videos and the demands of my day job, it's very clear to me now that this setup is not sustainable for the long term. I do want to be able to continue producing content, but I also need to balance that with my own mental and physical health and to make sure that I'm enjoying the process instead of burning out. So over the last few months, I've been thinking a lot about how to solve these problems and how to balance everything moving forward. I've come to the conclusion that the best way to do that is to adjust my expectations of myself and my production schedule. So firstly, for the time being, I'll be scaling back to one video a month. This should give me a bit of breathing room to focus on quality over quantity and to then make sure that I'm producing content that I'm proud of. It should also help to reduce my stress levels and allow me to enjoy the process a little more without feeling like I'm constantly rushing against a deadline. Secondly, I'm working on streamlining some of my workflows. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm an advocate for automation, obviously, and I've realized that I can apply a lot of that to how I produce my videos. I've already started working on a few automations and I've even demonstrated in the past a Python script that I use to generate templated scripts and YouTube descriptions based on some inputs. I'm exploring other automations in that process such as ingesting footage, synchronizing files, and even color grading and editing to some degree through my editing software, DaVinci Resolve. The goal here is to reduce the amount of time I'm spending on the manual parts of the process so that I can focus more on the creative aspects. I'm also thinking about how I can use the YouTube API to streamline publishing videos. There's a lot of potential there and I'm excited to see how much more I can automate in the future. And lastly, I am investigating getting some external help with certain parts of the video production process. Right now I'm doing absolutely everything myself from writing and editing to filming and color grading, but I am looking into services like Fiverr to maybe help with 
things like editing or just polishing the scripts. Of course, these services cost money, so I'm going to need to make sure that it's a worthwhile investment. But if it frees up some time and allows me to focus on the parts of the process that I enjoy the most, I think it might be worthwhile in the long run. So to sum everything up, first, again, I want to thank you all for your support, and I apologize for the lack of consistency recently. I really appreciate everyone who has stuck around through this period and moving forward, I'll still be making videos, but for now I am scaling back to a more manageable schedule of one video a month. During that time, I'll also be putting in the effort to streamline and automate my workflow so that I can spend more time creating and less time managing the technical details, and that may allow me to then increase the cadence of video releases at some point in the future. And lastly, as I just mentioned, I'm also exploring options for getting external help to lighten the load. My goal is to keep making content that helps you, inspires you, and that I enjoy making. And I'm hopeful that with these changes, I'll be able to strike a much better balance between my passion for home automation and the realities of my day-to-day -day life. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for sticking around. I really appreciate all of the support from my viewers, and I'm looking forward to what the future holds for HiveMind Automation. I'm planning to release a product review video later in the month, so definitely keep an eye out for that. Uh, and in the meantime, thanks again for your patience, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.